And we're back at the World of Concrete 2021, and I'm here with Douglas at the Cooker Rankin booth. Uh, Douglas, tell us a little bit about KR and what you guys do. Well, KR is a precision company. We are a very large Leica dealer. We, we have many, many stores across the Northwest, so uh, Seattle all the way down to Las Vegas. Um, we provide precision equipment for people that are involved in AEC, uh, survey, and civil engineering. Okay, awesome. Well, and our audience with the Add 10 Gallons Concrete Podcast, they're tech-based. They love tech. They love whenever we talk about the technical advances in the concrete industry. And after five minutes of conversation, you had me hooked. So tell us, <laughs> tell us about all the cool things you can do with these drones and, and all the many advancements that they can bring to a job site. So the tech is changing the construction world in a huge way, as, as you probably figured out from the show. I mean, there's more software booths here this year than I've seen in all the years before. 100%. One of the things that's changed is, for example, we have now what we call, this is called a cargo pant type drone. This is a drone that is foldable. Uh, you know, really easy to, to pack away. But what this does on a job site, and especially for construction crews, is we can fly the surface and check our, our as designed against our forms to start with. Then once the concrete slab is poured, these can be flown again and they can help us understand our leveling of concrete. So we can say we've got a, a half acre pour like the Amazon building you see in the sign behind us here. Fly this over, it takes about seven minutes to fly that full pour another 10, 15 minutes of, of work in software. So while that concrete's still wet and it's been floated, we can find your high spot, low spots, and identify it just like that for you. And so while that concrete's still curing, you can send a cure, uh, crew back out to level it out, raise it up, whatever you gotta do. Uh, then we can also take that same plat, lay over top of it, make sure the pour was as, as built. Uh, and then when the build, building starts to go vertical, we can do the same thing. That's awesome, that's awesome. So how is the information that's taken from the drone integrated into software and portrayed to say a construction manager, a site manager, how can he take the information taken from the drone and easily read that information and tell uh, what problems he needs to fix? Okay, so there's a couple of different software ways of working, but before we get into the ingest, what we're gonna talk about is the data. So what makes these different today is drones today can tie in, by today I mean in 2021, Drones today can now tie into NTRIP networks, which are uh, site positioning correction networks to tell you precisely where you are on a job site. And then they can you can combine it with something like a, a Geomax base station like this. Right. We can get you into millimeter accuracy on the ground so that you know precisely where everything is. Then we take the data that this outputs, we use the lat lawn and elevation or altitude information that comes off the drone. It, it precisely puts the drone and the imagery where it is on the job site, and the computer sees that as binary data. It's just lat lawn okay. and height. Oh, yeah. And so whether we're using a tool like uh, like a smart build or we're using a tool like Pix4D or using something like MD Infinity for micro drones, they're all set up to take geolocation data combined with imaging or LIDAR. So we have uh, a LIDAR systems as well right. that, um, that take that data in. And from the moment you get it into the computer, it's not really a question of uh, where do you go with it, it's what do you need from it. And by the time we've captured that data, a site soup can, can get things like gray data. You can understand whether pipes have been put into the right place or electrical, so electrical, sewer, gas, whatever. Uh, we can also go through and, and catalog anywhere a pipe joinery is occurring. We will mark that with a GPS identifier. So if you ever have a leak, we're gonna first look at the joints and right. we know, we'll know precisely within an inch or two where that joint is so that we're not digging up the whole darn parking lot. That's incredible, that's incredible. Technology is moving at warp, warp speed right now yeah. in, in construction. This is relatively new, but do I dare ask what's next? What are you guys working on? Well, so some of the things that are happening right now is that this particular setup is something that KR designed and developed. Okay. So we, what we did is we took this drone manufactured by Autel, we married it to this, and that this is one of the tools we're giving for absolute precision. But other things that we're doing now is, for example, control points. Right now we have to manually shoot control points with an R2K or a, a okay. survey system. Okay. But we're working on technology that the, uh, the computer can look at the orange and black controls that we put on the ground or sprayed markers and immediately identify through a network the precise geolocation of that marker so there's no human involvement, no error can be done. If you have a guy that's taking a rod and his rod's not exactly level, uh, he's going to be throwing the measurement off. Right. Well, if we don't have a rod and a measure and we've taken the human out of the equation, now we've, we've got a much more accurate. So that's one of the things to speed this up. Other things that are happening is we're now starting to see 
disparate tools like Architects tools like Revit and, and some of the Autodesk tools that are stand, that were standalone, we're starting to integrate them right. now so they become a part of the full suite. So the drone is an input device and once it's input, everybody that's involved in the site, architects, engineers, your construction workers, your site supervisors, your subs, all of them can tie into that data and they now are able to build a BIM model off of just one flight. That's incredible. So it becomes much faster and, and saves money. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Douglas, I really appreciate your time. That was a lot of information <laughs> in a short period of time. For, for our listeners, for our viewers here, where can they go to learn more about RK and all the great stuff you guys are doing? So if they go to krinc.com, or excuse me, krinc.net, uh, they'll be able to log in. They'll find our drone channel in there. We have many articles about RTK and PPK precision, uh, how these things are, are put into play, and, and help them start understanding the technology because one of the things the construction industry isn't known for is rapid innovation or rapid change. Sure. It, you know, it's slow. But today, if you want to work on a job site, you darn well better have at least some computer chops in order to be able to, to work there. Right. Our equipment's becoming more and more automated. That's all done through RTK. It's being done through PPK. So you kind of got to learn a little bit about that as you become the new generation. So a guy your age, you know, you-, you I appreciate that. I'm no older than you think I am, but I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You look like you're sub 40 to me. <laughs> but uh, you're, you're the guys that need to learn about precision and how precision works. Because at, at the end of the day, that's precision's what it's all about. All right, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much for your My time. My pleasure, Josh. It thank was you. a pleasure. Keep it locked here on all the Ad 10 Gallon social media pages for more awesome interviews about all the innovation and technology coming out of World of Concrete 2021 this year.